Hi, welcome back to Orlando Experience. So today we are at Epcot because finally construction is done in the middle of Epcot. So the new hall is open, the new like festival kind of center area. They do have the new meet and greet center. As you can see, I'm kind of standing where they used to kind of send some meet and greets out here very in the front. But obviously that's been mostly moved back to that new center there. So we're gonna bring you guys along to check out everything. Um, I'm just very excited to walk around the corner for the first time and kind of not see any construction walls in my main view. That will be very, very nice because it's been a long time since that's been the case. So we're going to head back there, I think, right now. And that's kind of what we're going to do for a little bit. So as you can see, all the walls over here are officially down. It's so nice to kind of look at this whole area and realize there is no walls anymore. It's really been quite a while since we've seen this site. So we did take a quick look around off camera because it was raining a little bit and it is coming back towards us right now. So we're gonna try to quickly walk around the outside areas to try to get that all filmed. So here's a look at the new meet and greet area. This is kind of your normal Mickey and Friends meet and greet. You can find it in a lot of the parks. Very similar to the one that was over here before, obviously. But in a whole new building with a whole lot of new theming and stuff, and it looks really nice. There's a band over here, so I'll try to kind of talk over them. Sorry if it gets a little loud. So over here, right by the band, they do have a festival favorites. It's got a few things on the menu I'll try to get. Probably can't see it too well. I'm, the one thing we do wonder with this, if it will switch with the different festivals. So if they'll put kind of the festival actual favorites over here from that festival and kind of switch up the offerings. But we're not really sure because I don't think there's been anything said about this. So they do have a band over here. Again, really sorry, it's really loud. Um, they do have a whole band area over here. It's got a whole giant plaza area. And then a stand or like a stage with different performers that come up and play some different music. Mainly obviously Disney music, but it all looks very, very nice. So the rain is coming, but I did want to point out there is a new bathroom right here on the side of the stage. Uh, that's got a water bottle refill. That's the main thing I want to point out. There's a water bottle refill right in front of it. So right as I was filming that bathroom thing, it started pouring. Should only pour for a few minutes, it looks like. So we should be back out there in just a moment. But we'll show you around the Communicore Hall while we're in here. So was I, I was expecting there to be a little more in here with the way they kind of explained what this area was going to be. But it is just kind of a seating area right now. All the seating does look movable, so it could be a chance for them to put more stuff in here and move out seating when they need to. But right now it is all seating. One interesting thing that we didn't notice, there's not a whole lot of charging ports. There's some on like each of the corners, but that's about it. So there's not a whole lot of that. But overall, very nice sitting area. I think this park needed uh, a nice indoor sitting area. Obviously they have all the nice outdoor stuff, but it's super pretty in here. Lots of nice seating, nice area to come, bring your food, especially festival food. Relax. So it's ended up being quite the downpour here. Obviously it's not supposed to last long. We'll only be here about 20 minutes. It is early summer in Florida now. I'd rather take this over it just being hot though. This week it's actually supposed to cool down. So now that it's done pouring on us and the music's kind of stopped playing so I can talk in a little bit of a more normal voice. Here's a little bit of a better look at this whole music area here. It is pretty nice looking. It's obviously a pretty big area. They actually had some pretty decent crowds during some of the music earlier when we first walked in. I wasn't paying as much attention before the rain. Obviously everyone ran inside as soon as it stopped. It started raining because it started just dumping for a few minutes. But overall, I really like this area. And obviously it's all kind of temporary here and they could definitely do kind of different stuff with it if they wanted to. So if they wanted to change up the theme or change up kind of different music, they could obviously very easily change up that whole thing overnight. So right to the left of where we were is the Communicore Hall. We're gonna be kind of turning off to the left here, kind of heading over to the festival booth right over here because they did reopen an area next to it with some new seating and some just like activity type games that we're gonna go check out real quick before we come back this way. So as we kind of saw about halfway through the last festival, Flower and Garden, they, this booth did open and it was kind of redo of this booth. So it is 
obviously fully operational now. They do not have an, uh, a festival going on right now, obviously. They won't for a little bit, it seems. But here is the new area they just opened. Got some picnic tables. It's got some of those new type of fans. We saw those a lot in Dollywood and really loved them. It actually did feel like it cooled the air around. So hopefully, if it is a little hotter out, it just rained, so I can't really tell. But hopefully if it is a little hotter out, it does kind of cool this area. Let me just kind of got a couple like lawn style games here. But overall, a kind of really nice seating area. Obviously, I imagine this will be very busy when there is a festival around and there's a booth here. And especially because over there, that booth is almost always super popular. So I imagine this place being very popular when a festival does come back around. So real quick, I'm actually gonna walk past the new area and kind of into the middle, just to get some kind of wide shots of the whole area without any construction walls. Because again, that's probably my most joyous part of this is you can walk into this park and not see like a million construction walls right in your face. That is so nice. I don't think this is supposed to be flashing, but I thought we'd just kind of see the main walkway now. So this is where you would go to head back to the country through kind of the main walkway. And obviously we see this is all opened up now. So there's a lot more walking area over here and a way to walk around instead of heading straight down or to the left. So we've sat here a lot before as soon as they kind of opened it because I do like this little area. It's got lots of charging ports and a nice just sitting area outside as long as it's not hot. Um, but it obviously is a lot more opened up now. It definitely feels more like an open space until the, instead of a kind of secluded space. I felt like before with the walls here, either good or bad, it definitely felt a lot more secluded and off to the side. I think for a lot of people that was good if you wanted to come back here and relax, but it's definitely more accessible, I feels like now, to get to. The big thing I do not like though about this area right now is I think the speakers here are way too loud. Like as you saw earlier, it was completely blasting out my microphone. It is very, very loud. And I kind of considered this area a nice kind of relaxing area where you could come. And if you did like work from home, you could bring a laptop and work out here. Or like I came and eat in here and just kind of relax for a little bit one day. And I really liked it because it was quiet and kind of off to the side. But now it feels like it's in the middle of this new area with a giant stage right there and blaring music. So I'd like them to at least turn it down just a tad to kind of make it not as loud in this whole area here. So right now we are kind of waiting for all the lights to come on because obviously this area's got some really nice lighting in it as we kind of seen before if you've watched any of the previous videos of the construction work. It's got all these panels up here that all light up up there. So we're kind of waiting for those to turn on. Obviously they have the normal lights on right now. It isn't as dark as it seems right now. It's just because it's very cloudy. It's actually still fairly bright out as you can see over there. But those lights aren't on there. I don't know why the other ones are flickering. So now we're on the other side of Community Court Hall right now. You can see they did a lot of vegetation work here and they do have little seats kind of here on the sides. And I believe this was here before it was the booth here. But the interesting thing about this is we kind of notice both that area and over here has stanchions up. And this one especially is kind of an open blank background area. So we do wonder if they might bring some meet and greets over here at any time because, I don't know, it just kind of seems perfect for it. It's kind of just a nice wide open area with a nice like flat backdrop. So it would seem smart if they did, but you know, it doesn't mean they will, <laughs> but we just kind of noticed that. So as we're heading back into Unicor Hall, definitely as it's gotten darker, it's a lot brighter in here and with the lights and stuff. And I did notice, if you look kind of up there, you can kind of see a lighting truss holding a bunch of like spotlight type lights. So this does seem like they will definitely use it for other things other than seating because it's all along the way. So they definitely could make this kind of whatever they wanted with that, have a lot of lighting in here for it too, to make it very, you know, atmospheric for whatever they need spotlights and stuff to shine on certain characters or just a stage in general so we'll probably come back just here in a few minutes as soon as it turns dark you'll probably see a cut in just a moment but overall during kind of the daytime towards evening i do like this area honestly again my biggest thing is this is all open now i'm so happy that we're just able to walk through here it was been it's literally been forever since we saw those buildings get torn down and we just haven't had anything over here so it's nice to just have new areas to be in it's just nice when we can walk directly from an area like i can walk straight from figment straight to that middle area now and it's just nice to be able to do that 
So in just a second, you'll probably see as soon as it kind of turns dark, unless I find something interesting to talk about. So now that it's come dark, all the lights are turning on. They did officially announce over here that they are not doing any more shows tonight. It did seem like they were planning at least one more, um, but it was heavy rain and it was raining sideways. It seemed to have gotten on the stage and possibly messed up some electronics and stuff. So they were trying to fix that and they're still actually up there doing some stuff, but they did announce they're not doing any more shows tonight. But we'll take a, lot, a look around at all the lights. And here's our first set of lights here on Communicore Hall. I really, really like these lights, I gotta be honest. I think it really lights up the area. It probably looks a little brighter on camera than it is in real life. I mean, it's bright and it lights up the area, but it's not like harsh on the eyes kind of thing. We're gonna walk kind of around the opposite way we kind of walked in. So the restroom lights are on over here. I do go in those restrooms and they are very nice and clean. I love new restrooms. That is. A, a favorite of mine when I go into a new area because they're just clean and nice. Obviously, it doesn't always last that way, but for at least right now, they are very nice. So here's a look at the stage and they are packing up everything now. It does look like hopefully nothing was super damaged here, but they do have some techs out here working on some stuff. But you can see a lot of water on the stage there because it did kind of rain sideways. Here's a look at our lights over here. It is very nicely lit in here. It's not like super bright, but it is bright enough that it's very noticeable to your eyeballs. And we've probably showed this plenty before. This is the seating area that was here before. It just looks really nice opened up like this with all the lights on and stuff. I think just overall, it just looks like a really nice area. Obviously, if it wasn't raining, I'd probably be sitting over here, but it, everything's a little, a little wet still. So I'm not gonna do that. So a very similar set of lights here in front of Mickey and Friends. Um, I'm not positive, but I am assuming these probably line up with the show because the, all the other lights in this area do align with the ball show at the end of the night here. I think it just started actually, <laughs> and they are aligning with it. So it gets a little bit of footage of that. So as you can see, it is kind of matching up with the colors of the show. During the Moana one, they kind of had a kind of blue, light blue kind of thing happening over here. It obviously wasn't as matched up as I kind of wanted it to be. With the other lights over here, it obviously like follows the show on the lights, but this is kind of more of a generic overall um, light scheme for the show. That I still don't hate, but I do kind of wish it was more like mixed up with that. I think it would be nice if the whole area really lit up with it. But still really love these lights in front. So we kind of come over here to the other Comic Core entrance area to look at all the really nice lights on the side. I do kind of wish they kind of just filled that in there, but I understand for logistical reasons it could have not been really nice. You can kind of see all the really nice lighting around here, all kind of matching up to each other that I do like. It looks very nice. Um, quickly, I want to go look at the lighting real quick over where we just were in that picnic area over by the food booth. I just kind of want to see what it looks like. So, kind of weirdly enough, as we're walking over here, they don't have any of the lights on over here. I kind of assumed they would. Because obviously they all opened this today and everybody's here, but they do not have anything on over here. It's a dark little sitting area right now. I mentioned these lights are very similar to the ones right over there. You can kind of imagine this area being a lot brighter, but obviously as of right now, they're not on. So I was kind of looking forward to seeing this area lit up, but oh well, we're gonna head back towards the, the main area, towards the Comic Core Hall right now. So it seems like another one of the shows started and this time, these sites are very different. And I actually, as I was walking, it changed. They've kind of lined up into almost strips with different colors on it. We'll try to walk around the front towards that meet and greet location see what that kind of looks like. So this one definitely changed up the lights a lot more, it changed kind of the pattern that they're in. Again, it seems like they're more like static lights. Well, that kind of 
mix the theme of the show well instead of mixing with the show. But I still like how it does something. I, if it was just kind of base colors that it rotated on, I don't think I would have liked it as much. So we figured while we were here, we haven't picked up our pass holder magnets yet, so we're gonna go pick those up right now. So we are heading towards the front now. I, again, I really like this new area. I think all the lights are fantastic in all of this area, but we'll talk more about it towards the front. Um, we did end up getting a little treat too. There was some few new candy bars in there too at the creation shop that we noticed. So we figured we'd just grab a couple, but um, let me pull out the pass holder magnet in just a second. So here's a look at the pass holder magnet right now. It has been around for a little bit and I do believe that it's going pretty soon. But Stitch is one of my favorite characters, so I was glad, glad to grab it while we're here. We kept forgetting. But we'll wrap up right towards the front here. So there was our look at the new kind of area with the Communicore Hall and stuff and that new stage area. I personally do like it. I think there's a few areas that they could improve, especially turning down the music a little bit. I didn't like how loud it was. Um, I'm, again, not a very person that likes loud things in a theme park that's already super loud. I understand they're making it loud so it kind of draws people in from other parts, but I just don't really like it like that. So if they turn it down a little bit, I'll really like it back there. We'll see what they kind of do with Communicore Hall because it's clearly set up to be a multi-purpose area. Um, I'm curious also to see what they do with the eatery there, if they do switch up the menu items every once in a while or not. Nothing in there really piqued my interest too much, so we didn't really end up getting anything from there. Um, but overall, I'm just really excited. The construction walls are down. I mean, if you live around here or you've been coming here the last couple years, or even like five years now, you know that it's just been constant construction walls. And I get it, they're working on things, but you know how Disney construction is. It's very, very slow. So it's just really nice to be in Epcot again and it finally just be done in that main area. I'm just so happy it's just done in it because this is my favorite park, my favorite one to come hang out in. And I'm just happy I can come back here and finally just walk where I want to walk instead of walking around construction walls. But thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys very soon.